It is a peal of 12 bells. Today is Valentine's Day, so these guys are going to be really busy. To those of you that are familiar with the nursery rhyme, oranges and lemons, sang the bells of St. Clemens and all of that, this is significant. It's a great bell of bow. I don't know if it's the original one. Probably not, probably the Germans had something to do with it. Okay, that is a peal of, of 12 bells. Today is Ash Wednesday. So, uh, don't hear these bells. I don't know, um, how often do they uh, do a 12 peal like this? Not sure. Anyway. The fellow was just telling me it's Ash Wednesday so they don't, um, sort of have this sort of peel all the time. Ash Wednesday already? Yesterday was Shrove Tuesday and I didn't have any pancakes. Anyway, if I can get somewhere quiet. Incidentally, that um, that sort of uh, in, uh, uh, carving in, into the pavement there, um, that was all, that's all about the Eleanor Crosses and um, th there's one of them was of course where the statue of King Charles the first is today. He's the one that got beheaded, and the the, the Eleanor cross that was there, um, I don't know, something happened to it, and there's a replica of it in front of Charing Cross Station. And many people think that that, that replica signifies the the, the the center of London as regards distances. Um, however, if you were to go to that statue of King Charles the First, there's a, like a plaque, and sort of um, I don't know, molded into the pavement that says that the original uh, Eleanor Cross stood there where that statue is. And that was the um, centre of London uh, from the point of view of distances. Um, there, were, there, were, there was, of course, more than one Eleanor's Cross. And it was all to do with something going back to the 13th century. Uh, and there was a funeral for Eleanor, which was at Westminster Abbey. And uh, they started up north somewhere. And I think wherever they rested for the night, that's where they put up one of those Eleanor Crosses. And there was one... Here, you've just seen the marking on the pavement, um, and so presumably that they rested here. We're just on Cheapside in the city of London now, so um, they must have rested here before they went the final 
couple of miles to um, to Westminster Abbey. Not sure how, uh, where they started up north. Uh, I think something tells me that it was a 12-day trip. And in each of those, wherever they spent the night, one of those crosses was put up. If memory serves, serves me correctly, only two of them still stand, and apparently they're not in great condition. So that's something else I have to do. I have to go to the site of all those Eleanor crosses. Um, the other thing that's significant about this church, St. Mary Le Beau, is that we're, we're not actually in Bow, B-O-W, which is in the uh, east end of London, about two miles to the uh, east of here. Well, that's called Bow. And if you look on a Monopoly board, I think it's one of the... Uh, the cheapest places to, 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 to buy. Um, we're actually in the city of London. That's cheap start side there. Uh, uh, and I'm sure there's a reason why this church is called St. Mary Le Beau. Um, well, how long, I don't know how long these things go on for. Um, but just... Uh, I'm going to just read out from this pamphlet here. During the Second World War, the BBC's World Service broadcast a recording of Bow Bells made in 1926 as a symbol of hope to the occupied peoples of Europe. So that recording was made in 1926, and that started off the BBC's broadcasts um, to, to occupy Europe. And then that particular sound uh, apparently the bells here were changed in 1961 so the the peel is similar but just a slightly different tone so uh, I'm gonna have to familiarize myself with uh, with the actual uh, the peel and, and all of that and, and the dates um, and the BBC broadcast, actually. I'm going to do that, actually. Uh, listen to one of those BBC broadcasts. Because I can't imagine they start off the broadcast with a 15-minute peal of bells. I mean, my word. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to figure that out later tonight. Anyway. Bye.